enterprises. As we reported exclusively here last night, the days of total secrecy are over for Detroit Renaissance Incorporated, sponsors of the Grand Prix. TV2 learned that Detroit Renaissance Inc. is granted tax-exempt status by the IRS. A condition of that status is that Detroit Renaissance Inc. must make its tax returns available for public inspection. They were reluctant to do so, but finally agreed to let us examine the record today. It cost more than $5 million to hold the Grand Prix. Although Detroit Renaissance Incorporated has said they break even, we learned today they don't. We asked tax partner Joe Galasso from the Troy office of the accounting firm BDO Seedman to look at Detroit Renaissance Incorporated's tax returns with us. Joe Galasso is founder and researcher for the Michigan Private and Public 100, surveys of corporate bottom lines. He's an expert in tax and corporate behavior. Historically, the Grand Prix has accumulated a deficit of over a million dollars, so the last three years that we looked at, it was, we're losing years as well as historically from the beginning of time. Who picks up the slack? Corporate contributions have been doing that from various fundraisers that are essential to keep the race in the black. As you know, there's been plenty of talk about moving the Grand Prix race course out of downtown. We learned today that move would be very costly. Tax statements from Detroit Renaissance Incorporated show they have more than a million and a half dollars invested in improvements in and around the track, some which probably can't be moved. They're the so-called fixed assets. And don't forget, most of the assets that were purchased were very early in the history, so even replacing them uh, with normal inflation, et cetera, will cost you a lot more money to, to reconfigure the race course. Detroit Renaissance Incorporated is not economically top-heavy in management. Its president, Bob McCabe, reports an annual salary of just over $76,000 for more than 60 hours of work a week. The treasurer and corporate secretary reports a salary of $31,000. He works over 45 hours a week. The compensation, I thought, was fairly low for the, for the responsibilities that they had. In other words, they could make more elsewhere. The Grand Prix project engineer and the race's director of operations are actually paid more than the treasurer, between $38,000 and $48,000. So the men at the top perhaps are motivated by charity. But still, they try to hide the entire organization's financial operation to the point of refusing to let our cameras in today. The camera, we are allowed to request that the camera stay outside and not be seen, not see the documents. So the camera stayed outside, we went in. Joe Galasso at BDO Seedman says based on what he sees in the tax returns, Detroit Renaissance Inc. is properly operated. From what we see, if they'd open up their books, they could perhaps get some better public relations out of it. After all, the media has been really blasting them of late in all branches of the media. And oh yes, we did learn that they're spending over $40,000 a year on public relations guidance.